You sent me a few pictures of things with cowls on it, so I'll do a couple cowls for you. Now, essentially what a cowl is, is just like with the cascade, imagine a piece of fabric, so a square, and then it's held at the ends here and here, and it's allowed to droop in the middle. So you pull those together, and the fabric droops. And it's just folding fabric. So these are all fold lines. And this would droop down, and everything becomes drooping. Now we have to have that originating from somewhere, right? So here we originate from the sides. So if you look at the things you sent me, you sent me a dress where it has cowls that originate from one side and they get draped on the other. So we have a draping effect on one side and almost a pleating or a gathering effect on the other. And it can be pleats or gathers. Um, so that is a one-sided type of draped cowl. You also sent a tank top that is just like that one I just did in the corner there, held in place sorry, held in place at the corners and then drooped in the center. So let's try it a little bit. We'll do the tank top we would want to do. We have some straps. We'll give it an armhole. Now here is where it's going to drape. And so we want it to drape and that falls behind. And then this one here folds over. And then we just continue with overlapping lines. And how many you do is up to you and how drapey you want it, how big you want them to drape. And then on the sides, it would have a little bit of a, a squiggle to it, showing some fabric that kind of folds up and it's scrunched up a little bit, like so. And if it's a super heavy drape, you would even want to bring some of these off to the side and connect up. Like that. Now for the dress part, let's say, you, so the one you sent me was a dress, right? But let's just imagine a skirt. So it originates from here. And so the general shape of the skirt is your typical fitted skirt. But we want to create gathering on this side. So it's going to be a little bumpy. And it's going to sit on top of the body. And then it smoothed out a little bit more once it came to here. And then we'll give it a nice hem, fishtail at the bottom. Now what's going to happen is we have gathers. And I'm going to try to line them up best I can with those bumps I made. Oh, that was not a good one. And I'm swooping them in the direction that gravity will take those draped cowls, right? You can see it in your picture too. Now on this side, we're going to create cowls. So here, this is going to be a fold that wraps around the body. And I'm going to connect it all the way up. So some of these lines will connect. And then I'm going to start here at that fold. And then this one I'm going to do over, we're going to go squiggly, and then it's just going to fade out. Like so. And so what's happening here is I have the fabric coming down, and then this is folding up and over and wrapping around the body. So it's coming down, and then this is folding around the body and coming over. And then down, same thing like that. And then the last one, I just switched it up and I did the opposite. I had it folding over and then the fabric coming from underneath. 
And that's a close-up of what's happening over here. Now on our hem, which I just want to mention because of the jazz singer dress, um, we can clean it up a little bit, and I wanted to show you how I would do that is make a nice clean line and imagine, just like with the folds, how it folds. So here it overlaps, and then here. So what's happening is I have this is folding over and becoming fullness at the bottom. And so you want to give it that wave, and then you want to give it a few distinct overlapping places, showing that fabric coming in and out of itself, like that. 